Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail Thru Hiker update. So we have got just an awesome last uh, week to 10 days. It's been going on. Lots of folks summited. We are right smack dab in the middle of summit season, whether it be Nobo or Flip Flop or Sobo. And uh, it's just been a really great week. A lot of the folks we've been tracking uh, have summited uh, and have finished their hike on their Nobo hike this past uh, 10 days uh, since our last update and uh, so that's just great so if you've come here to check on the through hikers or to be a part of the hiker community or help me build the hiker community uh, and support the through hikers on the Appalachian Trail you have come to the right place so let's talk about who summited out there so uh, punchline he summited uh, since our last update and he was uh, Nobo Pure he started on February 17th and uh, from the approach trail down at Amicalola and he summited on August 26th summited with Pearl and Dexter so congratulations to you punchline Pearl and Dexter uh, Smiley he also summited uh, uh, since our last update and he uh, hung out kind of around Maine around the base down there around Baxter State Park waited on his wife to get to him his wife came up and she was able to share in his summit experience so uh, congratulations to you Smiley uh, and glad that your wife got to be part of that our dirty jobs he summited and uh, he summited with uh, Serpent and Picasso and he was Nobo uh, certificate from Baxter State Park of number 123. Now Smiley, he was number 85. So they just summited a few days apart. So you can kind of tell there's been 15, 20, 30-ish, 38 folks there that summited in between them. Uh, I don't know if that number is a number for Nobo Pure or not, uh, meaning uh, is that just uh, Baxter State Park only gives that out to Nobo Pure folks? or is that just anybody that's getting their summit certificate uh, down there at the park? So if somebody knows that, let me know. Uh, I'd like to understand that and uh, appreciate it if, uh, if you have that information. Also, if uh, you've summited, uh, please send us your summit photos, whether we have been tracking you or whether you've been updating me uh, throughout your hike. Still want to honor you and give you credit uh, for that and to post your picture here on the channel. So congratulations to all those folks who did that. Uh, awful excited to see see folks out there do that so speaking of hiker updates uh, we added two dollar stake to our hiker uh, tracker list that's down there on uh, Google Docs uh, and that link to that is down in the description section go go check him out keep him uh, keep him pumped up all the way throughout his trip uh, he has made it to Harper's Ferry took his COVID, COVID test and he is uh, decided to go ahead and flip on up to Katahdin and finish Sobo so he should be in the 100 mile wilderness now. Slider and Granger are Campfire Confidential they went ahead and flipped on up to Katahdin they did their summit and they are back on the trail now doing their uh, flip-flop section so they shuttle back to Damascus and they'll finish up the last 590 Nobo uh, getting on into Maryland there. Trimmer he is back on the trail had to get off for some uh, feet issues but he's back on the trail down at the knock and he's already got his Smokies reservation so he'll be heading in the Smokies any day now. Uh, Phoenix is out there on the trail he is hiking with uh, his family and they uh, picked up a few folks and they are in the Smokies as well. Uh, PTL he has made it to New Hampshire. Joe hikes he's somewhere around the 1750 mile mark he's in the New Hampshire and he says the temps are 50s during the day and low 40s at night so he's got some of his winter gear and would highly recommend folks uh, getting at least pieces of their winter gear because it is getting chilly up there we've kind of been reporting that here for the past couple weeks um, just, just trying to give you an idea of, uh, of what you need if you're going through the whites or the elevation or further north um, Fixin and Silky they have made it to Maine and John Boy, he's in the whites, and he gave us a weather report. Says the weather's been a lot cooler, uh, but that means that there's a lot less flies and mosquitoes and other bugs up there, and he's doing, of course, a lot of climbing. Uh, he's getting his winter bag mailed back to him and says that the blanket he has right now is just not quite enough. Uh, Knoxville, he's north of Bennington, and he also says that the temps have been all over the place. He says it's been very warm a couple nights, but... It is getting down into the 60s, and uh, which he says is a little warm side for him, uh, but that the nights are mostly crisp 
and this 20 degree bag is still a little on the warm side. So keep that in mind as you're getting stuff sent back to you. Uh, Crazy Quilt, uh, she did the Wildcats and came back did Mount Washington. And now she's heading back home for a week or so and then plan on summiting Katahdin uh, somewhere in the upcoming week, uh, depending on the weather, and then hitting, heading southbound if everything goes well. Uh, also, he should be either just coming out of the 100-mile wilderness or possibly summiting tomorrow, tomorrow being Thursday. So he's one we're tracking and looking forward to his summit picture. Uh, Rock Flipper, he summited Big K, and he is now going to be flipping on back down to Irwin, Tennessee. Then he's going to hike Nobo the rest of the way and finish up somewhere around 700 miles. Uh, Crash is back on the trail. He is somewhere around Lincoln, New Hampshire. Um, and uh, those are the folks right now that have sent me their updates. So if you want to be included in the updates, uh, by all means, we want to include you. Please send those to me. You can either uh, send them to me at Ramdino Roman the Trails at gmail.com or through my Facebook page at Ramdino Roman the Trails through a message there or through my Instagram account, which is just simply Ramdino. And we want to include everybody that wants to be a part of that. If you're not on our list where folks can track you and go and look up your social media post and kind uh, of cheer you on throughout your track, then we want to include you in that too. And uh, please just send us your name and trail name's fine and, uh, and your social media uh, outlets that you are posting to. So a little bit of trail news here. Um, Rock Flippers, uh, he is, uh, like I said, he did some it, but he did say that he stopped by the ATC up in Monson, and the ATC is open there. It's not open in Harper's Ferry, but it is open up at Monson. And he said that they had lots of info, and it was worthwhile to stop by. So who would have thought, right? Uh, it kind of tells you how to use the kiosks there and the birches and some camping options further north. Uh, about how to register at the rangers pickup and shuttle options and ways to come down from the summit so he thought it was worthwhile to go over there and check that out so uh, certainly i would recommend that you do that as well uh whisper uh he's from around the whites he's a trail angel's kind of been keeping us updated up there and he says that after labor day the cold is going to consistently be here to stay so he's from that area he's an indigenous person there and so he ought to know uh, trail Angel Chris, she is a trail angel that does trail angels uh, work around New York, Connecticut line and she says there's still a lot of clearing needs to be done. Some has been done but as you know they've had a lot of storms come through that way, a hurricane, some tornadoes, some, just some big old storms and there's still a lot of down stuff that's causing folks some grief. So she just gave a warning out right about that. She says that hiker numbers are getting lower now. Uh, she was saying around 40 to 55 a week, and now they're somewhere around 20 to 25 a week. So starting to peter out as far as how many folks are up there north. And she's also going to be getting on the trail herself starting down at Springer in the next few weeks. So, Chris, we look forward to seeing you down there uh, and, uh, and cheering you on uh, throughout your hike down there. And then I want to mention that there is a new hostel that is opening up in Virginia. Uh, Stumbles in Texas, they are AT class of 2018, and they have purchased a home there, and pretty much with the reason being uh, they wanted to open a hostel near the trail. So they opened it there near Front Royal, Virginia, uh, for the 2021 season. However, they are offering free stays, free shuttles uh, to all through hikers on the trail, and are free ride into town for resupply and town food. For 2020 so uh, check them out they say uh, the main pickup points around Manassas Gap at mile 980.3 and they're a nine minute drive from the trailhead and less than five from downtown Front Royal so I will leave their contact information down in the description section I have a list there of the trail angels uh, folks that are a public list that people will help you out for free go check that out uh, also uh, we have a private list, folks, it's asked to be kept private, trail angels that have, and uh, if you're a through hiker, you don't have that list. I know I've sent it out to a lot of you, but if you don't have that list, let me know, and after I verify that you are a through hiker, I'll send you a link to that list, and we still have a lot of folks up north, a lot of trail angels up north that are helping you, and just throughout the trail. If you're a trail angel and want to be on that list, then I would love to have you be a part of that list and uh, for helping hikers out up through there with free rides and shuttles and so on and whatnot and uh, so just get get in touch with me uh through one of the uh 
one of the ways that I mentioned earlier through either Instagram, Facebook, or um, my email, and that's all linked down at the bottom, and we'll get you on that list. Well, folks, uh, it's been an exciting season. We still got plenty of season to go. We don't have a lot of Sobos on our list, so I, if you're a Sobo, I would love to have you on our list. And, and if you're not on the list, I'd love you have that on general so that people can go out there and help you from the hiking community. Folks, that's all I've got this week. Appreciate you watching. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out there.